Welcome back to Extravagant Fragrances, everyone. I have a uh, new fragrance. I want to do a review on that, but before I do that, I want to get your input and your recommendation on uh, a series that I would like to come up with, and that is going to be, I was thinking of doing a series of Friday favorites, uh, and then also uh, Sleeper Sundays, and let me explain. So, for those of you who, for you know, I have a large Muslim audience. I know this. I also have a large non-Muslim audience as well. Um, you know, it's well understood in the personal fragrance um, community. You know, you always hear those buzzwords, the, those Muslim oils. Well, there's a reason for that. Um, fragrance is actually a part of Islam. Okay. And um, the reason why I say that is because the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, he said that the three things he loves in this world, he said is uh, prayer, uh, what do you say, prayer, perfume. perfume, and women. And I, I, I can't argue with that at all. <laughs> Allah forbid, I cannot argue with that. He said per, uh, prayer, perfume, and women. And uh, so... Anything that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, anything that he said, he put a stamp of approval on it, we accept it 100%. Okay, and, uh, and so that's why when you look into the different parts of the Muslim world, you will find um, perfume is a prevalent thing. It's a very prevalent thing. When we're talking all the way from Malaysia, Indonesia, uh, all across the Middle East, perfume is a very prevalent thing. Um, it's also considered, uh, it's also considered a sunnah, a practice, um, to wear it during, uh, acts of worship, uh, and also to wear it, um, on Fridays during our Juma prayers, right? So we go to the masjid on Friday, on, was it on Fridays? And, um, it's, it's a, it's an Islamic practice to wear perfume, uh, for the men to wear perfume to the masjid on Fridays, okay? Um, so that's what made me think of coming up with a series of videos called Friday Favorites because a lot of people wanna know, like, what are your favorite, what do you wear? What are your favorite fragrances? You're the guy who's selling fragrance here. I wanna know what you wear. So that's what made me think of Friday Favorites. And I have quite a few different fragrances um, that I wear on Fridays. A lot of the time, you know, I, I'll, what I do is I'll, like the domestic stuff, if I'm feeling like it, it depends on my mood. If I'm feeling like it on that, on a particular day while I'm bottling up orders, I'll bottle the stuff up, you know, and I'm like, I'll smell, I'm like, yeah, I like that one, that's a new fragrance, and I'll put it in my pocket and it'll be with me, right? Other times, I will actually select and pick exactly which fragrance I want to take with me to the Friday Juma, okay? And um, and so I have uh, a select few fragrances that I personally pick from and I wear them. Uh, I kind of wear them in a rotation on Fridays. All right. Um, now, Sleeper Sundays, what I wanted to do on that is, um, now, I might post them on Sundays. I don't know. But I'll post, I mean, it just kind of sounds catchy, you know what I mean, to be honest with you. I might post it on Sundays. Um, what I wanted to do with that series is uh, kind of go down the line of fragrances that are just real big sleepers, right? And when I say sleepers, I'm talking about fragrances that my viewers don't really know um, because they've never smelled them before. You get what I'm saying? I have fragrances that it, it, maybe the name kind of does it in injustice, right? Um, uh, but it people that I personally know who have smelled it in person... Um, really love it so that's one thing that I've that I've noticed is that I, is that I have some people who have smelled these fragrances in person they just go nuts over them other people that don't know them they're kind of blind buying they don't know what to look for and um, and so there are certain fragrances that they're kind of sleeping on that's why I want to call it sleeper Sundays um, so let me know give me your input tell me what you all think um, should I go with Sleeper Sundays and should I do a Friday Favorites? Let me know uh, down in the comment section. So let's get on with the uh, the, the newest fragrance and this one is called Ta'aruf. 
Um, Tarufa is a nice, this is a really nice fragrance. Um, yeah, I, I just let one of my family members smell it and he was just going nuts over it. Uh, he's like, you know, if, if you smell it with your mouth open, like that's how I, that's how I know he loves it. Cause he loves to eat. And <laughs> so, so I tried it. I tried it. I smelled it with my mouth open. Like um, it's it, it, yeah, it's it's a good it's a good fragrance, really good fragrance. The Taruf, I I don't know. I just think of honestly when I think of Taruf, I think of a very like a clean desert, you know. Um, I just don't know why I get the I get the picture in my head of like the guys in the Middle East with their thobes on like driving the rally cars. I, I don't know why that picture comes to mind, but that's the picture that I see. You know, these guys are all cleaned up. You know what I'm saying? And, and they're in their best white purest thobe. That's the picture that I get with Taruf. Um, maybe I'm saying it wrong. Taruf. There's like two A's in the middle. Um, but it's just a clean, mean fragrance. Non-offensive. Um, you know, something that you can kind of, you know, I would, I would, uh, wear this. This is definitely going to be, honestly, I, I'm going to have to throw this out there with one of those Friday favorites. Cause this is going to be one of those ones that I plan to wear. And as a matter of fact, this is one of those fragrances that like, when you smell it on someone, uh, that, that, that I mentioned, uh, you know, you smell it on someone. And later on down the road, you run across this fra fragrance again. Well, this is one of those fragrances. I ran across someone, I, and I don't remember who it was, who was wearing this particular scent. And uh, so now it's here. It's in my possession. And uh, it's just a really clean scent. I really can't point out the notes in this, to be honest with you. I'm really, I'm kind of not the best at that. But... It's it has a very misky scent to it. Definitely has an imported scent, uh, smell to it. Um, I'm gonna say if you're into sandalwoods, you're gonna like this one. I think you're gonna like this one uh, because it do, to me it does smell like there's some sandalwood there. You know, it smells it smells woodsy and fresh. But yeah, that's it. Um, so, anyways. Um, I don't have a lot to say about this fragrance except that it's 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 a really nice scent. And this is going to be in my lineup of Friday uh, favorites. If you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe to my uh, email newsletter on the website on extravagantfragrances.com. Have a good night, everybody.